Hustle rising up, yeah. Hustle rising up, yeah. Hustle rising up, yeah. Moses 619. What's up, you guys? Today's episode brought to you by the 619er. Look at beautiful San Diego, the trolley. You see the trolley right here? Look at that. San Diego State Stadium. Let me show you the stadium. Come on. And look at that. Qualcomm Stadium, home of the Chargers. No more here, unfortunately. And this is San... Anyways, in today's episode, I want to talk to you guys about the update on Hustle, the social, the social network, showing you guys how to make money, community-based. It will go up, and it will be the biggest hot in the game right now because nobody is doing that, and I'm thinking out of the box. You gotta think out the box. And my competitors are not gonna be a problem to me because they know something I don't know. Always think that about yourself. When you have competition, I seen a, a famous quote that says, he really inspired me. I seen a, a comment, a guy said, don't worry about competition because the, uh, the um, people, most people, and it's true, because like we live in nature, it's not everybody is not equal. The highest performers will be on the top, and not a lot of people can perform in the top just 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 by working harder, working hard, and working smart. You're gonna be top of the one percent. The stories will know that a lot of people can't handle that. A lot of this business is not for everybody. Being an entrepreneur, if you're if you've been grinding and you haven't stopped for at least, even if you stopped, if you coming back, you keep coming back and you keep putting time. Just know that a lot of people can't do that. A lot of people are gonna quit and. If you're really far right now, you're the 1% and not a lot of people can be on that area. So just know that about competition. Not a lot of people can be on the 1% and I'm a definite proof of that, boy. Ah. So anyways, what I'm trying to say is this. So let's let's talk about the rise of Hustle. The rise of Hustle. So right now, updating you guys, I don't actually work on... Um, Let me take off my backpack. This thing is heavy, man. I was on the train a lot. So, let me give you guys the update on Hustle. Um, uh, right now, uh, I've mostly been working on this flipping business. It's a medical, fl I, I flip medical, flip medical uh, products. And um, I don't put in a lot of times in Hustle. But uh, I only put like 10 5% of the time. So most of the hours I spend on the business and hustle, but I don't put that much time. I do a little bit because I'm using this business to gain capital, to have funds because I don't have investors. And I don't really want somebody investing in my company because the more invest, the more they invest, the more they own. You know, I don't have a problem with growing income and I can grow that. You know, so, you know, so. Uh, so right now, uh I have created right now uh, I was working on creating a landing page a landing page if you don't know what a landing page is uh, Google it it's the first it, it's just basically usually a, where people the first page you land in it's usually to capture inform information they call it lead capture pages you know like click funnels type stuff I was gonna create like click funnels I was gonna create a uh, I was gonna create a, uh, I was gonna create a landing page. Sorry about that. So when I got on the trip, uh, I had to leave uh, because I was getting some anxiety. You know, everybody has some social anxiety. Some, you just feel, but mine is just intense. Just feel like everyone's watching me. Anyways, I had to get out of there. Uh, I, when I went on the train, I got tired. I didn't want to record really. I wanted to chill. Uh, yeah, I was when I was in the train, I was actually looking up like. Cause I'm now I'm gonna try. Cause I'm getting some money now. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy a, a, a camera. I'm gonna buy a a, a a camera now. More professional. Right now I'm using a, a, a phone, a cheap phone. I think it's like, it cost me like hundred dollars. Uh, yeah, I'm using a phone, but I'm great. I'm your boy done leveled up. I'm upgrading to a camera. So yeah, yeah, I'm headed to uh, my little office. And I'm just playing. It's just a little spot right here in, in San Diego State SDSU. Um. That's it is it is what it is, but I'm gonna head up. I'm in there. So what I was talking about is that 
I, I, I'm an internet marketer, right? And everybody does, people have negative things about it because there's a lot of scammers out there. They basically, like, there's internet marketing scammers, right? And anything, there's a scam. In education, somebody can scam you. I love internet marketing, man, and it's a good one. It makes you money. Um, I'm not talking about selling courses. A lot of people that are the scammer internet marketers, what they do is they show you products that show on how to sell money, uh, how to make money, the products. Uh, I'm not I'm not selling you any products, by the way. I'm it, the, 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 our play, uh, hustle is a free place. Uh, it's basically, they, they, prom they over promise you. They tell you you're going to make a lot of money and you don't. And it's best, basically, that's what it is. They just tell you and they, they charge a high price for the course. And the money they're saying you're going to make is actually not what you're going to make. That's a lot of, if somebody's selling a course, they're most likely scamming you. If there's somebody selling, because the information there is very basic. It is nothing special. So, yeah. So, when I said, uh, I'm going to get, uh, so, right, uh, when I said, uh, I'm going to make an offer. So, I, I was going to make a landing page and get, um, uh, and then tell people there's a social network that's going to, uh, it's, it's upcoming. Well, I can make a date. Like, I don't know the real date when it's going to be up there. I, I make deadlines, but I don't know if I can meet those deadlines, you know, because I'm busy with the uh, flipping business. And um, yeah, so I'm going to just stick to what I'm doing. Uh, so what I did is like, I want to make an offer. I want to make an offer. And to, uh, an offer means basically what you're offering somebody. And this is something you hear a lot in internet marketing. People do it to you all the time, but you probably don't notice it. Uh, I actually made an offer in the last video. It's this, the way you make offers, or let's say uh, you want to call them lead magnets. Another word, there's three words for them. Lead magnets or offers or incentives. Look those words up and put internet marketing. Look at those up if you want to learn. It's, it's important to learn internet marketing. If it's the it's basically the the Bible, the uh, like in the Bible is the, is is the uh, rules of running in this world, in this in this reality we're in. If you're a believer, I'm not really a believer, but internet marketing is kind of the Bible of the internet, and you, you better like understand it if you want to really cash out and like what I'm doing. And um, you know, it doesn't have to be negative. Like you know, like there's positive internet marketers. I'm one of them. Like well, like you know. Like there's positive ones. It's basically people like Jeff Buzo. That's a, a internet marketer. He created a website, Zuckerberg. But they don't really know deep. You know, like it doesn't. Internet marketing is, isn't just a fucking landing page in the funnel. There's deep stuff into it. You know. Um, let's go up here. I'm gonna talk to you more about the offer. I'm gonna take you guys up here. Sorry, I meant to say Jeff Bezos. For the longest, I've been saying Bezos. The Beezies and the chicks and the Beezies. No, talking about Jeff Bezos. So, anyway, so I made. A, I'm gonna make an offer, and you should follow what I do if you want to be successful in any business you do. Remember, any business online or offline has it, it needs leads. Will need leads. Every business in the internet and on, uh, online, every business needs leads. So I needed to generate. Oh, I'm here by the way. Let's check it out. Diego! Is Diego Mop? Is Diego Mop? I don't mean to cut out the video. Just give me like 20 seconds. I'll let the video go back again. I want to tell you guys a special offer I have. So, if anyone out there is black or African, I'm looking for a web developer, a pro web programmer that can program me the social network. Um, if you can, you will own a percentage of the company. In other words, this is called in business equity. So if you're an entrepreneur, that's great for you because you will be able to get involved uh, with the company and um, you will learn a lot. What's up, hustlers? Uh, chilling right now. I thought it was a good time to take out the camera and record my situation because I know I'm gonna go big. And you just know. I seen the Nipsey Hustle interview with him and Big Boy in the neighborhood. Right, let me let, let me guys before I talk about that. Let me show you where I'm at. I'm at SDSU right now. Remember that big old trash where I used to sleep right there? Ha ha ha. No LOLs. No LOLs this time. Yeah, 
over there, behind that is where SDSU at. This is the McDonald's. I bet you everybody's gonna be looking at that coming here after I get, after I go big. Look at that. I just know it's gonna happen. I'm the first person to do this come up from the beginning of the Dirty Bottoms. Oh yeah. Look at that. That's a drink Oreo. Telling you what my box is on. Yeah, about to go to sleep, man. My sleeping bag right here. Yeah. It's what it is, man. I'll sleep in the rise. So what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about, uh, yeah, I seen the big boy's neighborhood of Nipsey Hussle. And he's talking about, you just know. And I know what they're talking about now. It's not just like a goddamn spiritual feeling or none of that wah-wah-wah stuff. It's just from the things I do and my past record, I just know I'm going to make it happen, you know. Uh, the game is based off uh, contradicting to what people think. It's based off your psychology, your talent. Yes, IQ, stuff like that matters. It's not all this fair world and stuff. This is We live in... In nature, you know, uh, and also, uh, what else I forgot? There's a third one, and also luck. Luck plays a big role. It's not a, not everything is always fair and positivity and good. Everything is good. No, no, no. We live in nature. Business is survival of the fittest. It's not for everybody. Certain people will make it. Some people are more fit for it. Some people have the IQs, the talent, and some people get the luck. I got the luck. From the uh, from the flipping business I'm in right now, the flipping business I did, I got lucky. It's, it's unsaturated. There's not a lot of competition, so it's easy for me to go make money. I just got lucky that I got in there. Uh, hustle loop idea, I kind of got lucky with that too. But uh, yeah, uh, before everybody says no, it's hard work. It is hard work too. It's a combination of things. Hard work, your psychology, psychology like believing in yourself. Uh, thinking simple, thinking big, these things you can, these are in your control, right? Not like luck, which is really not in control, but luck is, comes to you, everyone who's, even you guys, right, right now, I'll probably discourage some of you guys, but know this, if you go out there and try a lot, and you, you work really hard, and you try your best, luck is gonna happen, luck, luck happens when you do so many things, you get lucky, that's what I got lucky, because I do so many things, so, I'm not saying like, luck plays, to, everybody's gonna get lucky. Just keep keep doing stuff and keep working hard. You're going to get your luck. Uh, you're going to get your luck. Uh, so working hard is in your control and changing your psychology into control. So do the best on that and let luck hit you so many times. In this video, I was, this whole three months at that time, I was very suicidal. And I was getting a lot of suicidal thoughts and severe depression. And... Because I'm actually editing this video. I edited this video today. It's um, September 1st, 2021. It's been a year. If you see the date of when I uploaded this video, you'll see that I almost uploaded it a year later. That's because I gave up on Hustle. Um, during this time, I gave up on Hustle. You know, I was going through a lot of stuff. I have a you know psychological disorder, uh, anxiety, depression, and anger problem. It's for society. Um, so this is to motivate you guys that even powerful people like me do give up, but I don't never call it give up. I just call it taking a break. Always hustle.